everybody, Maggie here today. I'm going to show you how to alter a piece of chipboard and then we're going to use that chipboard and make a tag. This particular chipboard is from Creative Embellishments. It's just a nice flourish. It's flourish number four. Uh, Creative Embellishments has some great chipboard. You might want to check them out. Okay, so we're going to use some distress paint or any kind of paint you have. doesn't really matter. And we're going to use two different embossing powders. These are both from Stampendous, and it is their aged gold and aged scarlet. So, first thing we're going to do is dab paint all over the chippy. I'm going to, I'm going to take some uh, clear embossing ink. You can use the kind in a stamp pad. I like this because you dab it on, but you can paint it on, whatever you like. And I'm just going to randomly dab it, not all over, just here and there. Then I'm going to sprinkle on a little bit of this aged scarlet. Okay, now I'm going to add some gold to it. Again, I'm going to just randomly dab it with my embossing ink dabber. Okay, there you go. Isn't that pretty? I like that. I like the different colors. You can also take some uh, silks and add to this now, which I might do later. I'll have to see how it looks on my uh, tag. Okay, now I'm using a, a Prima tag. This is three and a half by eight and a half, and you can certainly cut your own. And actually, what I'm going to do is use this as the back base of my card. So I'm actually going to glue paper to the front side of this, and I've inked around the edges already. So I'm just going to set this aside for now. Hey, I'm using Prima's Romance Novel for my tag because it has lots of pretty tags and things that you can cut out. Um, so let's see. Let me go over the... I've already inked and distressed the edges, but um, you'll need a rectangle that's 3.5 by 7.5. And, and that's going to go on the face of the tag. And you're going to need a smaller one. This is uh, 5.5 by 3 and 3 eighths. This was a, like a little postcard. And you're going to need another little note tag, and this one is two and three quarters by four inches. And I will write these sizes down for you so that you don't have to try and capture them while I'm talking. And I've also cut another little rectangle here, and this is, let me think, what is this? This is three and a quarter by six and three quarters, and then it's been punched around the edges with Martha Stewart's Flourish Lace. Um... Then you want two little punch strips of some sort, and these are seven and three quarter inches long by, oh, I don't know, but they're probably three quarters of an inch from edge to edge. And then, of course, you're going to want some embellishments, whatever you, whatever you like. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the back side of this tag, and we're going to glue these strips or, to the edges. There we go, step one. Okay, now take this largest rectangle. We're gonna attach that to the face of this. I'm gonna use glue this time. I'm 
Now you can see we've got this little white part up at the top that's not too pretty. We'll take care of that in a minute. Uh, let's see. Now I have this uh, punched edge piece, and I want to put a piece of cardboard on the back of that. Oh, about this point's always a good idea to stop and see if you're going where you thought you were going. You all seen my ginormous roll of tape, of foam tape. Look at that. <laughs> Can't even get it in the camera. I love this stuff. I'm gonna fit some of this onto the back and pop up some more. I'm going to put a little piece right over here on the edge. So that when I lay this tag down, it's got some support. There's where we are. Okay, I'm not really loving the way this is looking, so I'm going to add some uh, diamond dust kind of all over it. Right, then we want to attach this note card on there, and again, I'm going to use some of my super duper foam tape. need to embellish it however you want to. I
And then I have this little dangly thing, and I'm going to put that on here, but I'm going to do that off camera because I'm not sure quite how I'm going to it. I need to punch a hole and thread it or something anyway, but here you go. I think that turned out kind of pretty. So there we have it. Thanks for watching.